Just wanted to show some of my plastic prep. This is a five gallon bucket. I'm not gonna say who it's from. You guys have to guess. Uh, and I'm going to test uh, spray paint on plastic, this type of plastic. I'll also do PVC pipe, um, which spray paint, nothing. I'm not gonna use anything to make it stick. And we know that doesn't work very well. I've already sanded this. I've sanded this with a 150 grit. I just kind of buffed this whole area. This one I'm gonna use what I prep EVA foam with uh, for painting, xylene and contact cement. That is one part contact cement to five parts xylene. Over here I'm gonna use purple PVC primer. I use this a lot, I've used this in the past. And I'm gonna prime this plastic with that purple PVC primer and cleaner. And I will use that on this section. On this section, I'm gonna use 3M spray adhesive as a primer. And that way I'll be painting on top of the sp spray adhesive and the paint has adhesion to it. So that's it. I'm just gonna start applying the things I need to apply. All of these are treated. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes to make sure everything has had a chance to really set in there, and then I will spray paint. I'm actually gonna be using uh, Rust-Oleum 2X Semi-Gloss. Uh, I like the 2X paint. Do I think the type of spray paint matters? I'd like to try and find a solution that's going to work for all spray paints. That is coat number one. I'll come back and do coat number two in about 20 minutes. It's time for coat number two. These guys are dry. So let's do coat number two. Once this dries, we'll pull the tape and do some scratch tests. No, it actually says on the can, maximum adhesion happens after five to seven days. It says that, just trust me. I'm gonna let this sit for a week and then I'll come back and I'll test all these finishes. I have a Patreon. If you like this video and this kind of content, maybe you wanna support the channel on Patreon. Here we are, seven full days later. These uh, paints should be at their maximum adhesion uh, and they have been treated with in different ways. Uh, let's run some tests. I have some, uh, this is the five gallon bucket obviously and this is a, this is a chunk of PVC. So let's do a simple uh, fingernail test across each one. So a little thumbnail test, I got a little dig. When I, when I get a catch on there, Yes, it comes up. Let's do it again here. This is sanding. Uh, while you can see the sanded surface, um, that paint is on there really well for the fingernail test. Got a little bit of a thumbnail happening. Uh, this is the um, xylene and contact cement. Uh, you can see I'm marring up the surface with my thumb, but I'm not getting the paint off. And then uh, this is the purple primer. Again, I'm scratching really good with my thumb, and I'm not getting the paint off. This is the 3M spray adhesive. Okay, so this is the worst of the three. Obviously, I could just uh, take this off. And I've used this before quite a bit, so uh, it's good to know. This is better than nothing, but uh, yeah, that just, that just comes right off. So let's go with a little bit uh, stronger test. Here I have a steel brush. Let's see what the steel brush does on nothing. We did nothing to this plastic. And uh, as suspected, that removed paint pretty quick and easy. Uh, sanding. Um, no, actually I've scratched deep enough to see the orange because I scratched through, but uh, it's not like it's removing pieces of paint like it is over here. So the sanding, again, it still held up really well. The xylene and the contact cement. Mm. 
Once again, I think I just removed enough material to see a little bit of the orange, but it's not like it's taking up the paint. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good bond. This is the purple primer. And you can see, I got a scratch on it, but I, I think I just got through. This really holds up well. There you go. And this is the 3M spray adhesive. And that wears through a little faster. I see a lot more orange on this than I do uh, on those guys. So nothing actually didn't work very well. Um, it held okay, but not great. Sanding uh, works pretty good. The xylene and contact cement works the best, and the purple primer works the best. Those are the two that are going to prep your plastic project the best. On five-gallon bucket plastic, which I think is like a... Let's look at a piece of PVC pipe. Let's do the fingernail test. Uh, it comes right... Wow, that's so easy to come off on this type of plastic. Sanding. No, the sanding held it on there really well. Oh, this is the uh, xylene and contact cement. Comes right off. Okay? And this is purple PVC primer. Again, holding on like a champ. Purple PVC primer. And this is contact cement 3M. Uh, and it, uh, I'm just getting too much off. So... Let's go with the wire brush. Control. We did nothing to this. And we can remove all the paint pretty easy. <laughs> Sanding. Let's see how we do. Uh, this brush can remove that. Uh, xylene. Um, yeah, I mean, it's coming off. Purple primer. Wow, it's lessening, and then you see the purple. But again, I think I'm just sanding a layer off. But like, scratches? Uh, that's on there pretty good. But again, it has the dark under it to uh, actually help that look. And then here, 3M. This can't scratch as hard as my nail can. Uh, so this actually holds on pretty well for this type of test. But the fingernail, again, just gets it right off. So, I think the big winner on PVC pipe is going to be that purple primer. In the future, I'll be doing some tests on tinting the PVC primer. If I can just tint that black, wouldn't that make life a lot easier? I also want to hear from you. How do you prep plastic for paint? How do you paint plastic? Give me your tips and your advice because I think this is going to help a lot of people who have to paint plastic for various projects and you might have insight that I missed or maybe you want me to do more tests and uh, please go ahead and put those suggestions down in the comments. Go make stuff guys!